Wrong direction, babies! I'm at a loss for words, man. She won't just turn, she won't just follow the other one. So that's what she wants to do. This is not how we expected this day to go. Hey everybody, welcome back to Blackacre Ranch. My name is Jeff. Anyway, these are Horde. These are family members, spawn and offspring. So I'm not alone today. We've got everybody else here. The task today is uh, to start our big building, our little building, and um, also get these buffalo moved over to the next pasture. So going from seven to number six. Now we're gonna start this with a little bit of order of operations. First thing though on the agenda is we're gonna go through and do roll call on all the buffalo um, before we move them. I wanna make sure that we have all 31 up where we can see them. We make sure we know how many babies we're expecting. Then when we move them over, we're gonna count them as they come through to make sure that they're also there. So they're gonna love the grass. Yes. Um, yeah, great that's little when they, stuff. That's when they take off in the grass. We're like, bye. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're hoping we're, by doing it before we move them, we're pretty sure we're gonna get all of them. After that, I don't know how they're gonna react going to this new pasture. Every time they've gone into one, they've always just kind of spread. So we're gonna do all roll call here in pasture seven. So we're gonna get that cranked out. Um, they don't have tons of hay left. We, we kind of strategize this, dumb luck actually, but we strategize this that uh, they're really low in all the hay so we're not wasting a bunch because once we move them over, I'm not taking all the other hay, and so I didn't want tons of bales sitting around in the rain and just rotting. So all that is going to be taken care of after we move all the buffalo, we're going to get the hay, mineral feeder, blah, 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 all that jazz. So keep with us as we move our little buffaloes. And 15's baby looks like a girl. Did he say we're looking for 99? Mm, no, he said 30, 93. Are you sure? Okay. 149. We've got to like swirl back around. These ladies are hunting us now. Help me. Oh, okay. oh, good. All right. New animal. Did you spray everybody car? Cut it down. I got some good amount. Okay. I move. Amy, it's the end of the You're welcome, Sandra. Does she have a tag? Not this one, but that one. No, that's 14. All right, 14. Tag, 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 tag. Green tag. I got this one working this way. Oh, tag. Tag, tag, tag. tag. Here, our first mama. Yeah. What was our first? Look at her baby all changing colors. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, we just finished roll call. We found all of our bison, and 93 is our new mom this week. So we have one more baby. So we'll see if we can get you any other better close up shots, but. Um, they've had some cube. We've checked them all off, which means we're about ready to switch them over to the next pasture. <laughs> okay, we're here at the gate. We've opened it. They're still out yonder eating on some cube. 
they don't necessarily know that we've opened the gate or they don't really care so much right now. Um, and we've got to make sure that we get them all. When we were doing the cube, some of the animals had their babies distant and the moms were all getting cubes. The concern is, of course, that you get the mom that comes, but the babies are still distant away. Um, and so we're gonna have like Mari counting babies and Sandra counting adults, and of course all the other of us will count as well. But um, in the meantime, since they're not too keen on the gate being open, we're gonna get some of these other things done, like turning on the water, making sure the gate is open down at the other end, and uh, once then they come over here, we have one bag of cube that is left out of the three. We'll start rattling that and seeing if we can get their attention to come down here. Bison can jump. Man. <sighs> Maybe take the watch off. It's just a bunch of algae. Yeah, this is. It'll settle down. So we're gonna wait for it. I turn the water on, it's filling up. And uh, we just gotta get the attention of the buffalo to come in that gate. That might take a while. All right, so we've been trying to get these the attention of our animals. Looks like it's finally starting to work. Our kids have some cube bags they've been rattling. And uh, our first ones are gonna make it through the gate. Here comes B2, first mama. All right, our counting children. They go. Oh, they're like grass. Grass. They're so excited. The babies are being a problem. They're getting stuck on the wrong side of that gate. Good. And the mom went over. Maybe she'll get them out of there. Um, we got a head stuck. Okay, she's back out. All right, so it looks like Jeff is being a good influence to get him away from that part of the gate, and they're still coming through the opening. All right, so he's gonna see about switching the gate. If it'll come on this side. So nobody gets stuck anymore. Uh, uh. Hi, baby. Oh, I heard you. Mm. One, two, 
not even making it through the gate before they stop and start eating. Something. Let's see. Move it. There we go now. Uh, 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 that was mom. You have a mom and a baby that came first. That's 26 and something. You killed the baby. Yes, I did. Okay. You should not try. Alright, so we have a few stragglers. So we're trying to motivate them with the cube bag sound. The last little one's left. Like, but we're thirsty. We're gonna drink before we go on over there. Right, like, take the baby and run. And come back, mama. Look at all this green grass we have for you. Wrong direction, babies! So obviously you saw some 93 and her new little baby ran away and took a couple other babies and I think 38 and her baby. So we're going to take the truck over there and see if we can kind of escort them um, gently over this direction. So having a new baby like that, she's not wanting to mix too much with crowds. But yeah, she was doing it with cubes, so I don't know. So we're gonna see if we can entice them over here, but she went deep. So we're gonna have to see what we can find. Are you sure the binoculars are in here? Uh, yeah. It might be the box to the garage. All right, let's get this mom in. Forget you! No green grass for me! Dead grass. Okay, so we're trying to get 93 to go, so 138 will go. Jeff's out here walking wide. Oh, I think she saw the open gate. All right, only one mom and baby now. You know, going that way. Stop rejecting the new grass. This is proving to be way too difficult, the stubborn little I'm at a loss for words, man. She won't just turn. She won't just follow the other one. Well, it's time to move our hay rings over to the new pasture. I'm um, trying to get work done while that last mom and baby comes. So we've got uh, three of our kids each grabbing a ring and we're gonna roll them on over. Come on, lady, you can do it. Come to the new pasture. It's over here, green grass for everyone. So we weren't going to go chase this chick through the forest and we weren't going to chase her at all and that's not my intent. So we're waiting her out and it looks like, yeah, she did show up. So I'm not going to go try and drive her, whatever you want to call it, until my kids get through the gate and kind of get a little bit of a ways. And I'm hoping this chick finally smartens up and realizes, hey, everybody else went through this stupid gate, why don't I go? Alright, so we are now in the new pasture. We drove all the way past the mom and baby 
and got up to the fence to see if she'd be like, oh, I don't want to be by the truck, and go up. All right, so first we're to turn her from going back towards the edge down, the lower section. And then we gave her a little pressure to see what she'd do, and now she's moving. Okay, so we're hoping the desire to go back to the herd is going to keep her close to the fence because she can see all of her buddies right across the fence. So if we push too hard or too fast, then she'll start going left because then it's like we're dividing her from the group. And we don't want her to go left, so we're just trying to give a little pressure keep moving but not feel like we're threatening to where she wants to get away from us because obviously she can still see us through the fence all the other ones are so happy Pearl and Cheek are helping me get her wrangled in. I'm trying to keep her from... She wants to go to the herd, but she won't just go up the line and go up the line! little girlfriend kindly reappeared. She's at the ridge level. So one idea we have now that she's ran off twice into the forest or three times, I can't remember, is I'm gonna get some hay and I'm gonna pull it through pasture seven and see if that kind of baits her along and maybe gets her thinking because she hasn't had a ton of hay out there. We purposely let it go down a little bit. So we'll see if hay is a bait because she's not responding to cube bags either. Okay, we got one bale of hay set, and we're gonna move the mineral feeder now. We got, just got the tractor switch for that. And mom came back up, so I don't know if she's going to run away from the tractor, or if she'll be more interested in what the tractor's doing, because it usually brings her her hay, especially with the field being so low. I was hoping she would want to come near the tractor, so we're gonna kinda watch. I also have some cubes up at the fence line here, um, she may also come up this way because of that, so let's see how we can help her along. All right, all my cube enticement has not worked. If anything, she laid down. Jeff is done dropping off the mineral feeder, and his little helper girl is uh, chilling out on the forks on the way back out. tractor. She got up um, and she's not coming up here. I ever feel like an animal's taunting you? I don't want to leave her in this pasture. That means we'll have to keep both pastures open. We can do that if we have to. Um, Steve's going to come over. He's going to bring his mule. I guess I'm going to be in my truck and we're going to try and see if we can round her up that way. The gate is up here by the pavilion. Um, she will not come up this way and if any pressure's on her at all, she bolts it for the forest. And so hopefully with two vehicles, we can kind of curb her back this way. But we'll probably like leave the pavilion We've tried baiting her with cubes up here. We've tried everything. She just won't come up and do any of that stuff. So 
Um, we're gonna give that a shot with Steve's mule when we get here. It's the UTV mule. But anyway, we'll give that a shot. I'm gonna go see if they can find 38 and her baby. She just went down to the lower section. Um, Jeff's right up here on my far right um, through that fence area, just kind of hanging out, being deterrent from the woods. Okay, while sitting here, just waiting, 38 popped out with her baby along the fence line we want her to be on, so that's awesome. I don't know what Steve was doing down there, but he got her up. I imagine he'll be popping up over the ridge in any second. I've repositioned a little bit. I'm inside the pasture. Try and help give a little pressure so she, they don't want to come this way. So here comes Steve right over the hill. That's why she was running. She could feel the pressure of him coming up behind her. Right, like that's how far away he is. He's not right up on her. This is not a cattle herd. We're not stampeding these animals anywhere. We're just helping them decide that this is where they really want to go. Now, she gets to about this point and she doesn't want to fall a fence anymore. And that's partly why I'm standing here, is to hopefully deter her from coming over here. Meanwhile, Jeff's truck is starting to move to kind of keep her from doubling back on him. So she's She's looking at her options. She can see both vehicles. I'm sure she can hear me talking. I'm not sure where she decides what's the best choice for her to go yet. I'm afraid she's just gonna be faster than me, which she totally is, and can sneak up and around me. She wants to do. Alright, so we stopped her from coming back to the forest. So that's really important actually. Once we lose her to the forest, it's really hard for her to get to that fence line. So the vehicles are still right here, kind of closed it in a little. She's trying to figure out a way to get around them. And there she goes, right through the hole. Oh, goodness. Smart mom. I don't know why that beautiful pasture over there with all of her friends and beautiful green grass is not where she wants to go, but she does not want to go there. Yes, that's it. <laughs> all right, round two. Here we go. Steve's hunting for that spot to go down. Gonna have to flush her out from off the cliff and come back up top to the plateau. So, so Steve went down there again and we've taken a position back where we were and we're looking for her to see if she pops up anywhere along the rim. Um, she just seems very determined to uh, go into the forest. She just will not go into that corner. Wow. And the bad part right now is she's not responding to the cubes, but the buffalo that have gone over already are meandering further and further away, so she doesn't have that enticement to stay close to the fence like she did the, earlier today. So it just makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, she knows what cubes bag are, cube bags are. She knows that when we shake it, come over for cubes. She just has something against going to that corner. I don't know what it is, but you know, for anybody who's thinking that she doesn't know what the cube bags are and you haven't trained her to that, that's a bunch of crap. So she knows what it is. She knows she gets cubes from it. Um, she's never been the most social to want to come up to us anyway, um, but she knows what it is. So anyway, something. It's going to take a while, which means the rest of today probably doesn't happen. So, anyway, we'll keep doing this. 
Okay, this mom is super sneaky. We haven't been able to find her since she ditched us. Um, Steve's gone around the pasture. He hadn't popped her out yet. So I went down into the creek area along this north fence that we had built. And I'm just kind of coming back up that direction. What's really cool is, since the bison just left here, everything's really cleared out in this canopy. So it's kind of fun to see different bison trails and also kind of have just a little more room to work down here. I haven't seen her, so I'll let you know if we find anything. There's Sharla coming back up out of that section. There's no sign of the buffalo yet. Sharla went hunting for her as well. I may have to trake the truck back in there and go look as well. She is hiding. This is not how we expected this day to go. I made it all the way down to the creek at the other pasture fence. Uh, hiked it back on the other side of the creek. You can see pretty well. I just couldn't see her anywhere over there. And I popped back way over there. So I don't know if there's something right up in here she's hiding, but it's pretty dense right here. I don't know if the bison even go up in that. I wonder if she's down over in this section way down on the south side. That's what I would guess. Really tall weeds down there. Yeah, I think I think that feels safer for her. Just there's been enough movement between Steve and I through this part. I think we would have seen her move. Hmm. I wonder if I should just go take off down that south side and see. Doesn't hurt. Alright. We are trying to flush her out. Obviously this needs some mowing. They didn't eat a lot of this stuff. Oh, there's Steve. <laughs> well, I don't think she's over here. <laughs> Down on the west side of this pasture in the lower area. And man, it's open enough we should be able to see her, but I cannot see her. She is hiding real well. Steve went up the real steep part over by the well on the north line with his mule. Have not seen her. Okay guys, we're wrapping it up here. We have spent hours. Um, and Steve came over, we spent hours with him. We have driven over, I swear, tons of the space We've gone through woods with a truck and his mule. Um, been in places we probably shouldn't have with the vehicles. Weeds taller than my truck. Blowing through this stuff to find her. The last effort that we had with her before, she just completely bolted. She took off into the forest and is hiding. And it is hard to find a big brown buffalo in amongst trees. Like, I can't believe it's this hard. Uh, hide and seek champion. Right. <laughs> So we're, we're going to call it good. We've, we've gotten absolutely nothing done that we said no. we were going to get done besides moving the buffalo over. And we didn't even succeed at that, right? So <laughs> Keep following. <laughs> keep following. We're amazing. <laughs> what not to do is right here. <laughs> so this is a story of exactly how to get a buffalo to go where you want to go, which we sucked at. So they will go where they want to go. It's a matter of convincing them that they want to do what you want to do. And we didn't do that very well. No. Nope. Okay, so our plan right now is six and seven will remain open between the two. All the good grass is in six. I don't anticipate any of the buffalo wanting to just meander back over to seven. So, but over time, I think 38 might wander around and hopefully find it, uh, the gate and come through. Steve is coming up every day. So it's not like, you know, nobody shows anyway, but Steve will be up and he'll watch and she'll probably be out here if she is still in here. Otherwise, she'll have already moved over. If that's the case, we lock the gate, we're done. Um, there is still water, there is still the bad grass that's left, but for one buffalo, 17 acres is quite a bit of bad grass, so she'll be fine. We'll reevaluate, see what we can do better, of course. You know, sometimes they just don't want to do what you want them to do, and you got to live with it. So she'll be fine here. Steve will help us out if he sees her during the week, and uh, there won't be any issues. So. I think that's all we're going to do from now. We'll talk about the garage later, all my mowing, all it just, it'll happen another day, another week, not this week. So, right, chasing a buffalo sure can wear you out. Yeah, and it takes some time. Anyway, another day at the ranch. Hope you enjoyed it. 
like and subscribe keep with us as we keep going on this whole journey and we will catch you next week all right bye with you i want to stay